Hello, Internet. Today's video is going to be a little bit less talk, a little more action. <laughs> and I will confess, if you have seen my previous video, the one that I posted about wind and my issues with it, and that it bumped my confidence a bit, I will confess that this is the first time I've been on the bike since I made that video. The amount of responses I got, the incredible advice, the suggested videos, the stories shared of how you yourself dealt with wind issues was really uplifting, but I think more than anything, what I got from that video, what I got, not what you got, but what I got was, again, a reminder that the motorcycling community is incredible. They are supportive. Well, I will say 99, <laughs> sorry, bug. What is up with the bugs today? It's driving me crazy. I've already had to stop once and, and, and pry a bug out of my, out of my helmet. Oh, spring. Anyway, the motorcycling community is incredible. The amount of support that is available for someone who is a new rider like me, there really are no words. I don't have them, except thank you. I don't usually go on high-speed roads when I'm doing moto vlogs for a few different reasons. Uh, one being you can't escape the wind noise after a certain mile per hour, and secondarily to that, because I prefer to pay more attention to my riding when I'm on high-speed roads. The road I'm on is one that is quite popular as it takes you from Silver Springs, Florida out to intersect with State Road 40. And 40, if you get on it and go west, or excuse me, east, will take you straight to the coast, Daytona Beach and all of the other small beaches over there. But this was the ride that I had tended to take last week, so I guess just sit back and enjoy some silence here and there and I will pop it back in with information as we go along. actually quite popular with motorcyclists that I know because it's an opportunity to uh, push your speed a little bit without any uh, concerns about getting pulled over for exceeding it. <laughs> but we are coming up here on this little bridge and it's not going to look like much when we go by it but I'm going to stop and do some video on the way back through and I also have a photo to share from years back but I will tell you a little bit about it and it is a truss bridge uh, a pivot bridge, I guess as they call it, or a swing bridge. Boy, I guess I'm pushing my speed limit. Uh, and it was built in 1928, and it originally lived on County Road 316 until sometime in the 70s, and then it was moved here to Sharps Ferry Road. It is known as the Sharps Ferry Bridge, and while this is named Sharps Ferry Road, eventually it becomes County Road 314. And if you get on County Road 314, if you continue on this road, it will take you out into the Ocala National Forest. The bridge should be up here momentarily. And you're gonna blink and miss it, essentially. This is the, the replacement bridge. And the actual bridge that I mentioned that I have a photo of if I didn't already share that, I'll share it here or I'll share it again, was moved over there and turned into a walking bridge, <laughs> which I find hilarious because no one would ever walk on this road. <laughs> it's not as if it's a regular walking path, although I completely agree with uh, saving and maintaining uh, a historic structure, so I'm glad they did that. Today really isn't about much of anything. Honestly, I have you here 
with me as I get back on the bike after having a scare. And I was actually nervous getting on the bike tonight. But I'm glad I did. It wasn't that I had no plans to, but I think the longer you wait, the more you put it off, the harder it is to get back out there. So here I am on the road I plan to visit and I'm taking you along for the ride. So we're gonna be coming back up here on the bridge. I turned around and I'm coming back and I'm gonna stop and take some video because it is actually a really pretty view of the Ocklawaha River. And as I mentioned earlier, we are in Silver Springs, Florida right now. That's where Sharps Ferry Bridge is located. And it is right up here. And I've got this jerk on my tail. So I gotta be careful. That was fun. <laughs> so it doesn't really look like much, does it? Uh, you can see a little bit more of the structure here, but the photo, I think I only found the one because I looked before I came out here. The photo that I found was before it was redone and moved, and it used to have lead paint. And so they um, sandblasted it and removed the lead paint, I guess, safely, and they repainted it. So now it's kind of boring looking as far as color, but the old color was cool because it was, it was all chipped off and it had various uh, shades of green and red and orange. But yeah, hang on a second. I will pull this over to a little bit safer spot and I will show you the view of the Akawaha from here. So was that a letdown or what? <laughs> I know it's not a particularly exciting place to visit. Uh, it doesn't look like much now. I think I'm just kind of always interested by history. And the United States, frankly, compared to the rest of, rest of the world, is a very young country. That bridge back there that was, that was saved and preserved in uh, 2011, by the way, they moved the swing bridge off to the side and they built a new bridge which is what we crossed on the bike but regardless uh it's what not even 100 years old now in the area where i grew up in maryland as i've mentioned in past videos we have amazing stone bridges there are some covered bridges throughout the state i visited a few of those but there's nothing particularly exciting about most of the bridges here in florida not from a I guess aesthetic point of view. So this is Sharps Ferry Road. This is the complete opposite direction riding wise that, that from when uh, where I usually take you. And while it may not be much to look at it's definitely a different view than what you're accustomed to and I know some of you have been clamoring for that. How fast can we go? <laughs> Ah, uh, 70. And no, I'm not much of a speed demon, but every now and then it's fun. And anyone out there who says it isn't is lying. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this different view of Florida, even though I'm certain that bridge was horrifically disappointing for anyone out there. Compared to what you have in other parts of the world, it's sad. I know this. It's sad. <laughs> So again, thank you everyone who has been so incredibly supportive of me as I have made this now year long journey as a motorcyclist. That being said, I'm Gina, otherwise known as Ginger Dash. And I post videos every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's United States time, obviously. 
To those of you watching around the world, thank you. Welcome and please come back, all of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, y'all take care. <laughs>